Hi everyone, we're going to do a little paper mache today, but um, I want to say it's not technically real paper mache. We're going to be using plaster strips. So if this was the real paper mache, we'd be using newspaper and some special glue to do this. But I find that working with plaster works a little bit quicker. So you're going to get a balloon and it's going to be sitting in a dish and I call this the belly button of the balloon and you can see I've made this black line around it. The belly button of the balloon is going to sit in the dish and your plaster um, you're going to get about 10 strips of it and you're going to have some water. Now the water is sitting right outside my screen it doesn't quite fit. So you're going to take the plaster strips and let me move this over so you can see exactly what I'm doing. The plaster strips have to go right into the water to get wet but I'm still holding on to it. Now when I lift it up you want to keep it as a rectangle so you don't want to have it all scrunch up on itself. Now I'm going to go over to the balloon to where I see the black line and I'm going to put my first strip down right on that black line and see how I'm smoothing this out with my fingers? That's what you want to do. So your first step is to cover the black line. So now I'm going to turn it. Oops, and you're going to see, now the, balance, the balloon is off balance, so that's why it wants to roll. You'll have to hang on to that. So I'm going to dunk this in the water so it's nice and wet, keeping it like the rectangle. And I want this rectangle to overlap the other one a bit. So now I'm going to smooth that out. And I'm going to be by to help you. This is going to be a center. It's, everyone's not going to do this at the same time because I'm going to need to help people. So we will have small groups doing this and everyone else is just going to patiently wait their turn. And you can see that I just wet my next plaster rectangle and I'm going right over that line. All right, I'm going to turn it and you can see I have a little bit left here. So with this one, I'm going to wet it and this one I'm just going to put it this way so it can go all the way around. Now look what I just did here. See how that's kind of going all over itself? I want to spread that back out. Now, of course, being that this is a balloon, I have to be careful that I don't pop it. Because if I pop it, I have no more, um, nothing else to work on. So now this one goes here, and I'm overlapping it on a couple other plaster pieces, and that's exactly what I want to do. And another. And when it gets to this part, uh, it's nice because I can use both hands. And I'm going to smooth this out. All right, let's take a look. Hmm, I've got a couple other pieces left. This should be pretty good, but I'm just going to overlap this one here to make sure it's nice and strong. So if you have ever broken your arm before, this is the plaster that they use for making your cast. And I'm just going back and overlapping. Now you're probably wondering, what are we doing with this? Well, we are going to make an Easter basket. Or it could just be simply a spring basket. Here. So you can see that I've used all 10 of my strips. All right, I'm all done. So you're going to flip this over. You're going to let the belly button stick up now, and I will take it away so it can dry. Have fun. <laughs> 